Okay, I'm going to read the, uh, the Ohio Canton speech. Eugene Debs was a socialist candidate for, um, for president in 1900, 1904, 1908. Several times he was the Ralph Nader of the 1900s during Teddy Roosevelt's era. Uh, he got uh, one million votes while he was in jail. And with this speech, the Canton, Ohio anti-war speech, since we were at war with Prussia, Germany, in World War One, you weren't allowed to speak out against the war, especially on June 16, 1918, right? Uh, Woodrow Wilson, he instituted the draft, the Federal Reserve, and also was against freedom of speech. So... Eugene Debs, after he gave the speech, the Canton, Ohio speech, um, just a speech in Canton, Ohio, against the war, he was put into prison for 10 years. So this is America. This is how America, um, you know, defends and fights for their freedom fighters. So, Canton, Ohio speech. But before I start the speech, I wanted to talk a little bit about some news recently. Uh, Kentucky GOP is outraged by the students learning science. So there was uh, Republican senators who were mad about the uh, curriculum standards that were set down by the, uh, I, I'm not sure who, uh, the ACT uh, firm. So the ACT, the college prep course, the college uh, testing, I, I got 30 on my ACTs, uh, but my uh, the ACT is American College Testing or whatever, so they are the ones that would know what students need in order to get inside uh, in the college and something that they need to know if you're going to be, uh, if you're going to go to biology, you need to understand evolution. So uh, here's an article, Comedy Central and Decision Forever. It says, one problem with setting education standards across 50 separate states are smallpox and laboratories of democracy is the problem of comparing outcomes across state lines. To solve that problem, Senate Republicans in Kentucky pushed through legislation in 2009 that hired the firm ACT to create a st statewide exam linking Kentucky tests to national standards. And what happens when you go with ACT, the Safety School of College Admissions Testing? They go out and ask college professors what students need to be learning to which the pr professors reply. Science stuff. Okay, so ACT is saying we need to learn science stuff. The new requirements, college ready, readiness testing, end of course exams, and more national norms are part of Senate Bill 1, a 2009 developed and pushed by Senate Republicans to marry Kentucky's testing program to national standards for better comparisons of student success. Republicans did want the end of course tests tied to national norms. Now they're upset because when ACT surveyed biology professors across the nation, they said students have to have a thorough knowledge of evolution to do well in college biology courses, said Representative Carl Rollins, a Democrat of Midway, chairman of the House Education Committee. In essence, when these GOP senators recognized that Marion Kentucky test to national standards would entail teaching evolution, they declared the whole thing an unholy gay marriage. Another committee member, Representative Ben Wade, a Republican from Madisonville, said he had a problem with evolution being an important part of biology standards. The theory, of, uh, the theory of evolution is a theory, and essentially the theory of evolution is not science. Darwin made it up. So this is, this is Kentucky. Representative Ben Wade, you're fucking embarrassing, Kentucky. Fuck you, Ben Wade, out of Madisonville. The Republican out of Madisonville. Fuck you. You fucking creationist, fucking fundamentalist, stupid, dumb fuck. You're, you're uh, stopping any biologist from going to college from any person who might want to study biology, if they listen to any of the dumb bullshit you're saying, you're preventing that career from them. Fuck that. That's that's stupid. I got my questions, you know, um, but I don't know. The theory of evolution is a theory. Uh, essentially, a theory of evolution is not science. Darwin would have made it up. Wade, Ben Wade. My objection is that they should ensure whatever scientific materials being put forth as a standard should at least stand up to scientific method under the most rudimentary basic scientific examination. The theory of evolution has never stood up to scientific scrutiny. So that's a really smart way to say that evolution does not exist. It's bullshit, but that's it. No more scientific theories made up by people. I'm looking at you, Newton and Einstein. <laughs> so...
That's the article, Comedy Central. You also have a National Center for Science Education, Kentucky Legislators Assailing Evolution. So they also wrote um, the teaching of evolution and climate science. So they wrote an article, Legislators in the Kentucky State Senate are concerned about the presence of evolution in state science standards and associated end-of-course testing. According to the Lexington Herald Leader, August 14, 2012, several GOP lawmakers questioned new proposed student standards and tests that dwelled deeply into biological evolution during the Monday meeting of the Interim Joint Committee on Education. In an exchange with officials from ACT, the company that prepares Kentucky's new state testing program, those lawmakers discussed whether evolution was a fact and whether the biblical account of creationism also should be taught in Kentucky classrooms. State Senator David Gibbons, Republican District 9, told the Herald Leader, I would hope that creationism is presented as a theory in the classroom and a science classroom alongside evolution. So a fucking senator. We got 100 representatives and 38 senators, just like the national government. It's a bicameral house. So we have senators and we got representatives. 38 senators, 100 representatives. Way too many. Well, not too many. That's good. We got lots of representation, but we need to be paying attention to a lot of our representatives. We got way too many for a common citizen to be paying attention, and we don't have enough citizen groups actually paying attention. KFTC, Kentuckians for the Commonwealth, is the only fucking citizen group that I see is actually putting, um, well, I guess, uh, Freedom Heritage, but that's a libertarian group, which is fine, um, but no progressive groups are standing up, and, you know. I, I would rather not champion Rand Paul, but if he's the only one that's against the war and stand up to the Patriot Act and the NDAA and uh, any of the other legislation that's legalizing any attacks by our uh, police against our citizens, that's some bullshit. That's, that shouldn't be allowed. That's some bullshit. So, again, they also quote uh, State Representative Ben Waite after David Gibbons. He says that creationism, so the uh, intellectual design theory, should be put along in uh, evolution. This makes me think about Neil deGrasse Tyson, scientist, very smart guy. He says, you know, I don't care about what you think when it comes to religion. And that's one thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe it to be true. Another thing that he has a problem with is when you start coming into my classroom and telling me what it is I need to teach. I got a problem with that. I need to teach science, and that's what I'm going to teach. I'm teaching science. Uh, so when you come into my classroom saying I need to teach religion, that's some bullshit. So that's Neil deGrasse Tyson. I think it's Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson's always on the Colbert Report. Um, so Ben Waite went so far as to dispute the inclusion of evolution. <laughs> so Ben Ben Waite or Ben Wade Ben Waite, Republican District 10. He don't even think religion's a even valid theory. Why are we even putting evolution in there? It should just be God created everything and let's just fuck up. Just let's just keep evolution out of the picture, right? Let's not even talk about evolution. So the theory of evolution is a theory, and essentially the theory of evolution is not science. Darwin made it up. Wade is quoted as saying, my objection is that they should ensure whatever scientific material is being put forth as a standard should at least stand up to the scientific method under the most rudimentary basic scientific explanation. The theory of evolution has never stood up to scientific scrutiny. It's a very scientific and smart way to disprove uh, evolution. At least that's your conclusion. Where's your, that's a hypothesis. Where's your evidence? You got any evidence behind that? But Vincent Casson, chair of the University of Kentucky's biology department, told the Herald Leader, the theory of evolution is the fundamental backbone of all biological research. <laughs> so evolution, the theory of evolution, is the fundamental backbone of all biological research. There's more evidence for evolution than there is for the theory of gravity, than the idea that things are made up of atoms, or Einstein's theory of relativity. It's the finest scientific theory ever devised. David Helm, president of the Kentucky Science Teachers Association, declined to comment but referred the newspaper to National Science Teachers Association's statement on evolution, which strongly supports the position that evolution is a major unifying concept in science and should be included in the K-12 through science education framework and curricula. In a subsequent editorial headline, Keep Religious Beliefs Out of Science Class, If We Want Kentucky Kids to Compete, the Herald Leader, August 16, 2012, observed, It is unlikely that the pleas by Senator David Givens, Republican from Greensburg, and others, a Republican from 
Madisonville, is that where he's from? District 10, Ben Wade. So Republican Ben Wade and Republican David Givens. Um, it's unlikely that the pleas that these creationist, unscientific, faith-based beliefs about the origins of the universe and its species should be taught along the evolution will gain enough traction to change Kentucky standards, adding parents will always be free to teach their children as they see fit in their homes, but religious beliefs cannot be substituted for or equated with scientific understanding in public schools, at least not if we want our children to compete on a national level. Previous legislative activity aimed at undermining the teaching of evolution in Kentucky's public school includes House Bill 169 in 2011. So Kentucky's legislators going to cut evolution out of our curriculum. So it's just God and let's not study science. Let's just believe in faith and let's forget about our five senses uh, and the scientific method and uh, you know evidence and observation. So. Public schools includes House Bill 169 in 2011 and House Bill 397 in 2010, both based on the so-called Louisiana Science Education Act. Both bills died in committee. Kentucky is apparently unique in having a statute, PDF Kentucky Revised Statute 158.177, on the books that authorizes teachers to teach the theory of creation as presented in the Bible and to read such passages in the Bible that are deemed necessary for the instruction on the theory of creation. So we actually, uh, in the, um, it is legal now to um, actually, <laughs> scientists, science teachers have to teach creationism as an alternative uh, theory. Now it's on the books in KRS 158.177. So KRS 158.177, it's on the books that says that we have to teach theory of creation as presented in the Bible. So the Bible, creation theory in Genesis is what had happened and read such passages in the Bible as deemed necessary for instruction on the theory of creation. So, on the theory of creation. The, um, uh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, I was thinking about Kentucky being the home of John Thomas Scopes, uh, from the famous Monkey Scopes trial, the state of Tennessee versus John Thomas Scopes. John Thomas Scopes, uh, this had happened in Dayton, Tennessee, so just south of the border. You know, Tennessee, the same fucking state that killed Martin Luther King. Yeah, the fucking bastards fucking killed Martin Luther King, Tennessee. Good fucking legacy, Tennessee. Uh, but Tennessee also had the Butler Act, which prohibited the teaching of evolution in Tennessee schools. So we've tried to stop teaching evolution in schools at a, a state level, the Butler Act. And John Thomas Scopes fought it by teaching. Actually, he never even taught it. So, But they thought he had taught it, and he was arrested for doing so. John Thomas Scopes was born and raised in Paducah, Kentucky. So Paducah, Kentucky. Paducah, Kentucky, which recently... Um, had their cops just shot an unarmed man. Paducah, Kentucky just shot an unarmed man with an a AR-15, okay, <laughs> with an assault rifle. Uh -oh, the Bowling Green Police Department pulled out an AR-15 and popped one round, okay? He didn't pull out his handgun and shoot, but he pulled out an AR-15 from out the back of his trunk and killed one guy. It was just him and the other guy, so one drunk who was unarmed and the guy who shot him with a badge. And the guy with the badge said the other guy had his hand behind his back and he was yelling up a storm and yelling a bunch of crazy shit saying, shoot me, shoot me. And so uh, the cop said, fuck it, I'm going to kill you, you dumb motherfucker sitting there yelling at me. I'm going to fucking shoot you. So that, that just happened in Paducah. Okay, but Paducah, Kentucky is, um, uh, that's where John Thomas Scopes was from. So Don, the Scopes monkey trial in Dayton, Tennessee made America look like a laughing stock. Um, there's a movie that was about it, and it basically showed the demise and the end of William Jennings Bryan, who was a populist in the 1900s. He was very popular, uh, but then he did this trial defending God and religion, and he uh, had a heart attack right afterwards and dropped down dead. So I didn't get it to any of my thing with the uh, previous activities. He, uh, so it's already on the books. A Luger Kerr Journal reported in November 2005 survey of the state's 176th school district. None was teaching or discussing intelligent design. So even though the law is on the books, Kentucky science teachers are not listening to it, which they shouldn't since it's not sound science and science teachers should be teaching us science. So, viva la revolution, Louisville.
Occupy.